Hi guys, Liz with the Busy Bee here. So today we're going to be making this cute little checkered wallet. It features two pockets where you can put money and cards. If you would like to follow along with the written pattern as well, you can find the link to my shop in the description below. Also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe on this video for more tutorials just like this. For today's pattern, we're going to be using our crochet hook. We're going to be using a size 4.00mm or G6. You'll also be needing some scissors, a yarn needle, an embroidery needle, some sew on snaps. Here I'm just using these. And they'll sew onto the pockets. You'll also be needing your yarn and embroidery floss that matches the colors of your yarn. So here I have the red for the red and the pink for the pink. So let's get started. For this design, we will be carrying our yarn throughout the entire main panel of the card holder. This makes it easier to color change throughout the entire piece. Also, we will always be switching our yarn color on the last sewn crochet. So for example, if we do five sewn crochet, we will change color on that fifth sewn crochet. For row 1, we're going to be using the main color of your choice, here I'll be using red, and we're going to chain 21. Then starting from the second chain from the hook, so this one right here, we're going to single crochet in the first five stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we will color change to the secondary color. Here I'm just going to be using pink. So we're just going to wrap it on our hook so that we have a bit of a tail. And pull through the last two loops of that single crochet. Now with this new pink color, we're going to single crochet 5, carrying our yarn ends through the single crochets. On this fifth silk crochet, we will color change to the main color. So leaving the silk crochet where we only have two loops and a hook, we're going to yarn over with the main color and pull through. And then we can tighten that secondary color and drop this pink tail in the back. Just working with this longer pink tail now. We're going to silk crochet five, carrying our yarn through our stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we'll color change to the secondary color. We can then tie in our main color. And now single crochet five, carrying our yarn through the stitches.
We have completed our first row and we should have 20 single crochet. For row 2, we are going to chain 1 and turn. Then bring this red tail to the back of our work. Just like this. This way it makes it cleaner when we carry our yarn through. And now we're going to single crochet in the first five stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we'll color change to the main color. Now single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet we will color change to the secondary color. Now single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we will color change to the main color. Now single crochet in the next five stitches. Now this last loop can be a little hard to get into, but we just gotta make sure to do this last one here as well. And now we are done with row two. After row two, we should still have 20 single crochet. Now for row three, we'll chain one and turn. Then single crochet in the next five stitches. Still making sure to carry our yarn throughout our stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we'll color change to the secondary color. Now we will single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet we will color change to the main color. Now single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we'll color change to the secondary color. Now single crochet in the next five stitches. We are now done with row 3. For row 4, we will chain 1 and turn. Then single crochet in the first 5 stitches.
On this face, simple crochet will color change to the main color. Now single crochet the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we will color change to the secondary color. Now single crochet in the next five stitches. On this fifth single crochet, color change to the main color. Single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet, color change to the secondary color and chain 1. We have now completed one box of the checkered pattern. We will now continue on with the same alternating pattern for six more boxes for a total of seven boxes high. Turn the work and sew crochet in the next five stitches. On the fifth single crochet, color change to the main color. Single crochet in the next five stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we will color change to the secondary color. Now single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet, color change to the main color. Single crochet in the next 5 stitches. For row 6, we will chain 1 and turn. Now single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we will color change to our secondary color. Single crochet in the next five stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we will color change to the main color. Now single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet, color change to the secondary color. Single crochet in the next 5 stitches. We are now done with row 6. For row 7, we will chain 1 and turn the work. 
Now single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we will color change to the main color. Now single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On this fifth single crochet, color change to the secondary color. Single crochet in the next 5 stitches. On the fifth single crochet, color change to the main color. Single crochet in the next five stitches. We have now completed row seven. For row eight, we will chain one and turn. Now single crochet in the first five stitches. On this fifth single crochet, we will color change to the secondary color. Now single crochet in the next five stitches. On the fifth single crochet, we will color change to our main color. Now single crochet in the next five stitches. On the fifth single crochet, we will color change to our secondary color. Now single crochet in the last 5 stitches. On the fifth single crochet, we will color change to our main color. Now we have completed row 8 and 2 boxes of our checkered pattern. We will now continue on with the same alternating pattern for the remaining 5 boxes which equal out to 20 more rows. With our 8 completed rows here, that will make 28 rows in all. So I will meet you back here at the end of row 28. So now here I just finished row 28 of our boxes and we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 boxes in total. At this point you can fasten off and hide the tails of the main panel. Then we will be moving on to making the pockets. I went ahead and hid the tails and grabbed my first yarn color of choice. The colors are so fun and very customizable here. For row 1 of the pockets, we're going to be using the color of your choice and make a slip knot and chain 21.
Then starting from the second chain from the hook, we can single crochet 20 stitches. Now we have completed row 1 in which we have 20 single crochet. For rows 2 through 12, we are going to chain 1 and turn, and then single crochet once in each of the 20 stitches. At the end of row 2, we should still have 20 single crochet. Since the remaining rows, 3 to 12, are just repeating the same pattern here, I will meet you back at the end of row 12. So now here I have completed my pocket and have hidden the tails. Now we will make our second pocket, and you can choose any color you want for the second pocket. You can do the same color you made for the first one. Or you can make the other color, which I have done here in red. Now we are going to be sewing on the snaps to our pockets. So taking one of our snaps, it should have two pieces. And our embroidery needle. And our corresponding thread. Here I'm just going to be showing you with the pink version. We are going to cut a long piece of our pink thread. Now we can thread this onto our embroidery needle. Now sew on the snap to the center of the lower part of the pocket, about two rows up from the bottom. Now sew around the snap until it is secure to the pocket. Now we will cut the yarn and hide the tails. We are now going to repeat the same process for the remaining pocket with the other half of our snap. I will meet you back here when this is complete. 
Great, the pockets are all set now and all that is left to do is to secure them on with our border. I will be doing this with my red yarn here. To start, you will insert your hook into the upper left corner of the main panel and pocket of your choice. Be sure to position your snap in the right direction shown here as well. Now for step 1, we're going to make a slip knot. Now we will pull our slip knot through those two stitches on our hook. Chain 1 to secure the slip knot. For step 2, we will soon crochet twice in that first corner of the pocket and main panel. Now we will soon crochet 12 stitches up the side of the pocket and main panel to attach them together. Here we are going to go in between the rows of both pieces. We have finished occurring the first side of our red pocket here. Now we are going to single crochet in the next 3 stitches of the main panel only. Now we will bring in the second pocket, making sure the snap is facing the right direction, and soon crochet 12 stitches up the side of this pocket and the main panel as well.
now we have finished showing up this first side of our wallet. For step 4, we are going to single crochet twice in the next corner of the pocket and main panel. Then single crochet 18 stitches across the bottom of the two pieces. Now single crochet twice in the next corner as well. For step 5, we're going to single crochet 12 stitches up that same pocket and main panel.
Now we will single crochet three stitches of the main panel alone. Single so crochet 12 stitches up the side of the other pocket and main panel. Now we have finished showing the third side of our wallet. For step 6, we are going to single crochet twice in the next corner of both pieces. Now single crochet 18 stitches across the bottom of the main panel and pocket. Now we will slip stitch to end the border. After this step, we will fasten off and hide the tails. We have now finished the checkered wallet. I love this checkered look. 
Comment down below and let me know which color combinations you plan to use. Be sure to subscribe to not miss out on all the great things heading your way. And check out the links in the description as well.